All right, this is going to be a relatively quick video. Um, this one is about how being less fortunate gives you certain insights that people who didn't have to deal with the same challenges uh, don't necessarily have. I think that when you go through life uh, experiencing um, uh, misfortune, in my case it was bullying, um, and, uh, you know, a, uh, a, uh, unfortunate, uh, genetic, uh, defect, or several genetic defects, really. Uh, but, you know, everyone has, there, there, almost everyone has some, deals with some negative consequences, but there's a lot of people who deal with a lot more negative consequences than others, and I think that it's hard to understand um, <clears throat> it's hard to see clearly the problems in the world and uh, formulate ideas that can um, help to resolve them unless you've experienced some of those problems yourself um, you know, you're more likely to stand up for the weak and the um, unfortunate if you've been unfortunate yourself. If you've spent your entire life uh, in a life of privilege and power, then you're less likely to have empathy for those who have suffered in a way that you can't even imagine. Um. <coughs> and I think that's a large part of the problem with um, with a lot of uh, people who sort of grew up in a silver spoon environment, went to the best schools, um, you know, had great, um, you know, went, uh, maybe private schooling or, or um, you know, went to a, a school that was in a, a wealthy area growing up, you know, which led them to have better education and, um, and move on to top colleges where they, you know, and they formed relationships with people who were also wealthy, who had connections, you know. If you've had that kind of privileged life, you don't understand what it's like to come from a life where you don't have those connections, where you don't get those same educational opportunities, um, where you, you know, you don't have to um, deal with hardship and still do the things you need to do to make a uh, somewhat successful life for yourself and I think there are a lot of privileged people who think they have the answers um, and know better than underprivileged people just because their things have gone so well for them that they think that oh well you know what went well for me can go well for everybody else you know um, if they just you know have the same um, mindset as I do and what I think those people don't realize is the mindset that, that successful and privileged people have is not innate but or at least not entirely innate but is also largely the result of your experiences in life and what works for the wealthy and the privileged is not going to work for everybody else so I think it's important that, um, and you know, I think there's a lot of um, denial amongst wealthy people that anything is wrong with the system or with, you know, legislation or, um, you know, their, 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 their tendency is to blame underprivileged people for um, being in the situation that they're in rather than understanding the challenges and difficulties they may have faced because they never had to face the same challenges and difficulties. So, you know, and I really don't, you know, in the end, uh, most um, powerful people don't necessarily come from um, underprivileged backgrounds. And I think that there's just a general lack of representation of unfortunate underprivileged people in large decision-making um, organizations and, uh, and powerful um, you know, legislators and and there's just not enough representation of the underprivileged in, in more um, 
in large and powerful groups that make a lot of decisions about how the world is run. And I think that is, uh, you know, unfortunate and, and leads to a lack of empathy and a lack of understanding as to what the real problems are. And I did watch um, this uh, most recent Michael Moore movie, and one of the things that they talked about is uh, in, in Europe on the, the uh, board of supervisors of, or the board of directors or whatever of, of major corporations uh, involve some percentage of regular everyday blue collar workers. And I think that's very good. You know, I think a lot of times um, people in the front office, the white collar guys are oblivious to problems that people lower down the company, uh, less privileged people or people with, that have had less opportunities in their lives are more aware of due to their circumstances. And I think it's important that um, privileged people and people in positions of power you know, should really take into account the opinions of people who haven't been as fortunate for the sake of um, making things fair for everybody. And I know most people who are privileged would rather not have to share any amount of um, decision-making authority with uh, those who aren't in a position to wield that same kind of power but there are some problems in the world that will not improve that will not get better until they acknowledge that the opinion of of lesser privileged people uh, matters and um, and I think that uh, things will get better if uh, their opinion is taken into account and uh, and um, legislation uh, or uh, corporate policies could be crafted with their input that was pretty abstract, but I think you get the idea.